So this will be step 6 of our complete application in Spring Boot. So we are going to be creating all the models we need. Actually, we are going to be creating all the classes we identified. So I've made a list of items right here. And this is what we are going to be doing today. So how about if we have a method of, if we create one, we simply map it green. Let's say we just highlight it uh, green at this point. Any one we do, we highlight it as green. How about that? I think that will be fine. All right, so I'd like to start with, uh, with countries. Again, uh, please uh, subscribe if you've not subscribed. I'd like to start with creating uh, countries, which is which is this one. So I'm going to go to models uh, package and say new class. And I'm going to call it country. Country dot, uh, the name is country. That's all, just call it country. All right, so at this point, there are a number of things you can do in like a bit. What you can do, the first thing you want to do is to put an entity annotation and then you want to put a data annotation. So a data annotation helps you to, helps Lombok to generate all the getters and the setters for you. And you also create, put the at no ax constructor uh, annotation. At no ax constructor and at all ax constructor and finally you need to add one important line this time i'm simply going to paste this i'm simply going to paste this line this line is necessary uh, it helps to avoid something called um uh infinite infinite or infinite recursion okay so this is what you should do now, all these models I'm creating now, all of them have been created. So you can actually download it from here. If so if you look at this place, you can see a zip file, click on it, and simply uh, click on download at this point. So you have everything is right here. So simply download uh, by clicking on the download link and you have it uh, downloaded to your system, all right? So that's what you should do. Um, but let's go ahead to create a few of them manually and then I complete it personally. So you can see it's downloaded here. So if you go to your download folder, you go to download folder, you can see fleet app models. You can simply um, extract files and then you can assess all the models uh, right here. So you can open and then assess all of them right here. Okay. So in case you miss out anything. Meanwhile, let's continue from where we stopped. So let's create the country's uh, model. So a country should have an ID. It should have a code, a capital, nationality, and description. So again, I'm going to simply just copy and paste because I already have it so that we can save precious time. So a country should have all of this, all right? It should have ID, state, capital, description, and nationality. Now I want this ID to be the primary key. So I'm going to add ID annotation here. And also we want this ID to be auto-generated. So I'm going to add annotation at generated value. And say strategy equal to generated value, generated type dot identity, okay. All right, so we have the country's um, generated, generated generation type. So this is generation type. All right, so this is how it should be. Perfect. So we have the country's model has been created. Now we are going to talk a bit about relationship now because I'm going to create the state because a country is made up of several states, right? So at this point, I'm going to create the states model. Again, we say that if we create any one, we are going to mark it green. So we are going to now create the states uh, model. So let me just come here and right click on the models package and say new. I'm going to create a new class. I'm going to call it states. So I'm going to call it states. So the states at this point, at this point, I'm going to kind of uh, do almost exactly the same thing I did with country. So I'm going to simply copy all of this instead of typing it out. I'm going to just copy it and paste it right there. So I'm going to paste it right here. Okay. And then also copy the ID. So the first one always has to be there, the ID. 
All right, so a state now should have a number of things. It should have a name. It should also have a capital and a code. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say private string uh, name, the name of the state and private string capital. Normally in production application, you may actually download, uh, get an API to get the list of states and countries around the world. But this is a, uh, something I want you to learn exactly how things are done. So private string code, all right? So now we want to add a relationship between a state and a country. So the point is a state belongs to a country. So at that point, we are going to say private country country. So basically we are saying that we're also adding a relationship between the states and the country, okay? Okay, so we are going to say private string details, just in case, you, this is optional as well. All right, so we've created a relationship between state and countries. Now, if you create a relationship, you need to put an annotation. For instance, we have a, a, a many states, a, a country has many states, or many states, one country. So we can say at many, two one so this says many states one country many states one country so that is at many to one there is also another thing you need to do you need to add another field called country id because the country id is a field with which the the sorry i'm going to actually save everything for now okay so we have state we have um country okay so um so what are we forgetting yeah we need to add country id to this place so we have this a country the entity but we also need the kind of the foreign key at this point so i'm going to say private and it's going to be integer private integer country id at this point this very field which is a country id always i i have a, a convention of making it all lowercase so have it as country ID. And now the relationship between the two, the state and the country, will be based on this country ID. So what we are going to simply say is that a join column, you are going to say that the join column is going to be country ID. Okay, that's what you should do. And then you are going to say insertable equal to false and updatable equal to false all right okay so this is what you should do and basically we have everything set up so anytime you have a relationship between the two entities this is exactly how to set it up all right this is exactly how to set it up and now if you go back to countries if we go back to countries you can now actually get a list of states in this country this is also optional but i recommend so you can say private list of states states all right so um and at this point you also say let's just put this still private list of states list of states all right so we're also going to add an annotation at this time at one country to many states at one to many and marked by equal to country so when you say map by is equal to country you are telling spring that there's a relationship that has been already been created so what we only need is the list of states but the map by is telling uh, uh hibernate that the relationship is already handled by the state so Relationship is already mapped, be mapped using the join column, which is country ID at this point. All right. So I'm going to just complete this at this point. So at this point, I'm going to just minimize this and let's just, I'm just going to breeze through this quickly. So let me just do this as once. So I'm going to go to client at this point. Let me see, I oh, have an error. Okay, so the next one I'm going to create is clients. And the next one I'm going to create, let me just shift this out a bit. 
so I'm going to just create all of them at this point. So I'm going to say new uh, class common objects. Now let's talk about common object, which is, which actually is a is a super class. So I'm going to say finish. So common object at this point, take note, is very very important. Um, common object should be not an entity; it should be a map super class. So a map super class tells Spring that this object is not an entity. So you can't have a table called common object. It's an abstract class. You can't instantiate it. You only need to use it to inherit other classes. So at map super class, and you also need to say to use one expression I'm going to use here to prevent infinite. Um, again, if you open the models, you can see everything is there for you. So you need to add this as well. So you can actually copy and paste once you have the models, uh, the models of um, zip file. You can see how it goes. So in this case, I'm going to add all the all the all the, we have ID description and details. And at this time, I'm going to add the getters and the setters manually. So in this case, take note: I'm adding the getters and the setters and the constructors manually. So I'm going to right-click and say source and choose uh, generate constructor using fields. Yes, generate. And I'm going to add another constructor this time. I'm going to generate an empty constructor. So generate constructor using fields, and I'm going to deselect all, and I'm going to generate as well. I don't like seeing this super here, so I'm going to just remove it. Also remove from here. All right, so the next thing we want to do is generate the getters and the setters. Uh, generate the getters and the setters. So I'm going to right click and say source, and say generate getters and the setters. Select everything and say generate. And finally, we are going to generate. Um, I'm going to generate the to string method. So generate to string method right here and say okay, generate. Okay, so we have the common object. So how do we inherit the common object? Let's just create. I think I did create this one. Yeah, so, and I did create common object as well. I'm going to just mark it. Let's now use uh, inherit from common common object by using creating the vehicle type. So I'm going to right click new class, and this is going to be vehicle vehicle type. All right. So at this point, I'm going to say now you can now browse for the super class, and the super class is going to be common object common objects. You can see uh, common objects. You can see it right here. So say OK and say finish. All right, so we have vehicle type inherit from common object. So what it means, you don't have to write all these uh, all these things we wrote in common object. So you don't need to write it. But you actually need to put in some annotations in common object. Uh, for instance, you are going to tell Hibernate that this is an entity. By putting entity data equal and hash code, this is optional, but I think it's necessary. All right, so I'm going to. Why do we have this? Let's take out this. All right, so I'm going to save everything. So based on the on the models, I can I now say you need to create everything by yourself because I already have explained it. Another thing I would like to say is that I have employee and person employee uh, inherit from person. So try to do this yourself, and in the next part we are going to actually continue. Let's see where we are. We've created all the models. I told you you have it here. Download and use it. And the, in part seven, we are going to be talking about the controllers. If you have any challenge, remember, feel free to let me know. I'm going to give you the necessary help you need. And we we'll see in the next parts.